Here we have a papule on the lip. It's lined by stratified squamous epithelium that has a little bit of a pale, um, uh, kind of pale um, keratinocytes at the top and lacks a granular layer and lacks a stratum corneum. So it's mucosa, it's the mucosal lip. You see that, that kind of pallor in the superficial aspect of the spinous layer is a good, good sign that you're probably dealing with mucosa as well as the lack of a granular layer um, and parakeratosis, sorry, and a, a stratum corneum. Those are usually absent in normal situations. Uh, the uh, submucosa, or what would, I guess, normally be the dermis, I always forget, and sometimes uh, when I'm dealing with uh, mucosal sites, I'll say dermis, but I actually meant submucosa. The, the, the uh, underlying uh, connective tissue, let's say it that way, uh, it has an increased density of collagen. It's fibrotic, and there's an uh, increased number of dilated blood vessels in here. So it's not very exciting to look at, but basically the, uh, the mucosa is a little thickened and reactive. We've got fibrosis and dilated vessels. This is called a bite fibroma or traumatic fibroma. And they're usually on the lip and they're, um, or you can see them in other places in the mouth, but tend to be the lip most often. And they're from biting or trauma to the lip that's developed kind of a, a, a poorly formed fibrosis or scar-like proliferation in the dermis and some reactive um, epithelial hyperplasia over it. And it's benign. So bite fibroma.